My name's Emma Pollock and I'm a singer-songwriter. I have quite a long history in the music industry um, in, in Scotland. I moved to Glasgow from Castle Douglas, which is where I mostly grew up. I moved to go to university and I met my, my husband, actually. And we ended up forming a band called uh, the Delgados and we were together from 1995 till 2005 and we 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 also formed a record company um to to help us get our records out and that was chemical underground records which is still running strong now and we've released a, a, an incredible amount of, of artists many of whom are scottish and since 1997 we've actually been running this this recording studio chem 19 which is Bland, in Blantyre, uh, just outside Glasgow. It's been an awfully odd situation in that we couldn't or can't at the moment really promote our own music just within our own country because we have to go, it's like a relay, we have to go through London in order to get back to the Scottish people. And I do think that there's something wrong with that. I think it's one of the, the unfortunate side effects for the way that media has been, has, has, has been set up as, as a union. The, the capital of the entire UK being London has been where every single media body of any of any great note has gone to. And it's it's something that with an independent Scotland I think we could go an awfully long way to, to balance and to rectify a Scottish press which is actually distributed to the rest of the, those European countries who were interested in it. It's something emanating from Scotland, something that is about Scotland's um, talent and media output without it necessarily having to go through another, essentially another country's capital before it can be accepted as being valid by our own country. I think that's a really sad state of affairs and something that could, yeah, we could go a long way to rectify that given the powers that we would get if we were, if we were, if we all come round to, which we should come round to the yes vote. It would be a wonderful, wonderful thing for us to be able to build on the work that's already been done in Scotland. I have to say, regardless of what party it would be taking those decisions, because I actually think that's less important, I think it's more to do with whatever party was deemed, was, was voted for by the people. This is just a vote for an independent Scotland, it's not a vote for any political party. And I think that's an important point to make, actually, um, that we don't confuse the two. I would look forward to watching the result of decisions made by Scottish people. Simple. A time for change, a time for the ability to vote for a government which is, is, is one that is actually going to operate in the country in which I already live. I'm Emma Pollock and I'm a yes vote.